giving up for Lent this year? It's the question that so often comes at this time of year for those of us who follow Christ. Lent is a season of repentance and turning around. It's a season of spiritual disciplines, including prayer and meditation and fasting. What are you giving up? As if in asking, we set an expectation that this is what a good Christian does. Martin Luther was concerned about this very thing, laying a burden on others and trying to set people apart through their disciplines, their good works. In 1522, Luther, who had been hidden at the Wartburg Castle, returned to Wittenberg, risking his own life because he was under a death sentence to preach Lenten sermons. He did this because he was concerned about the people and the direction of the Reformation movement. Luther wanted to make sure that people turned from a developing zealous desire to serve God by keeping disciplines imposed by others, but rather, instead, Luther wanted to serve God by believing the gospel and loving their neighbors. Luther preached this, In the first place, we must know that we are children of the wrath, for all our works, intentions, and thoughts are nothing at all. Note this well, and though there are many such in the Bible, I do not wish to overwhelm you with many texts. We are all children of the wrath. But then Luther follows with the good news that lifts the burden of sin and wrath off the shoulders of those listening when he says, God has sent us his only begotten Son, that we may believe in him, and that whoever trusts in him shall be free from sin and a child of God. As John declares in his first chapter, to all who believed in his name, he gave the power to become children of God. Then Luther speaks to the issue that concerns him, placing unnecessary human demands on people. Thirdly, we must also have love, and through love we must do to one another as God has done to us through faith. For without love, faith is nothing. As St. Paul says, if I had the tongues of angels and could speak of the highest things in faith, and I have not love, I am nothing. And here, dear friends, have you not grievously failed? I see no signs of love among you, and I observe the very thing that you have not been grateful for God for his riches and treasures. The people were not being gracious and loving, but rather judgmental and establishing new demands for holy living. Keep in mind that Luther was a strong supporter of spiritual disciplines, including fasting. He said this in his writing concerning Christian liberty. On this principle, every person may easily instruct themselves in what measure and with what distinctions they ought to chasten their own body. They will fast, watch, and labor just as much as they see to suffice for keeping down the wantonness and desires of the body. Luther felt it was important to discipline our sinful natures so that we could turn our attention to God's work in Christ. What the danger was, was thinking that these disciplines would justify us with God. Our justification, being right with God, has occurred only through Christ's work on the cross. Grace and mercy are not earned by good works, like giving up chocolate for Lent. As free Christians, we should follow whatever disciplines will enable us to serve God through our faith in the gospel and by loving our neighbors. What works for you may not be what is needed by another. God will not love you more or less if you give up chocolate or anything else for Lent. The real question is, will it help you love God and your neighbor more? I wish you blessings on your Lenten journey, and I pray that you will grow in your love for God through Christ as we approach the foot of the cross.